Okay, this is just a little video showing what I've been up to. A uh, new friend of mine, Remy Benoit, and I have been working on this little 2x2 Phoenix router. Uh, his brother had purchased it. It came from a, a junkyard, basically. It was uh, left for dead. The control must have died in it. Uh, he rescued it, and his intent was always to put it together and uh, get it running and give it to his brother, Remy. Um, so uh, Remy and I have been working on it to get it going again. Um, we put a new uh, Porter Cable 7518 router on it. We use what we believe are the original DC brush servos on the X, Y, and Z axis. Uh, it's a, as I mentioned, a two foot by two foot capacity. Um, we refitted it with uh, the Centroid CNC Acorn and using the Centroid CNC 12 control. Got a touch screen. There's a virtual jog panel. Uh, we actually set up a little game pad here so he can uh, do basically what's, what can be done here on the virtual control panel. And then here's a Lenovo Tiny PC. It's an M92P. Works really well. It's attached to the back of the monitor so he has access to the USB ports. He can blow the dust off of it and so forth. Here's a side shot of the router. He uses some pretty stout rails. These are uh, aluminum billet aluminum uh, plate on the gantry. And then you can see the linear rails down below again. It was a very heavy, very stout router. Um, you, you may have seen one of my other videos that shows uh, the big brother to this, a 4x4 router that I did, and I used uh, DMM Technologies AC servos and uh, Centroid Acorn. Down in the control cabinet, uh, Dan had purchased these uh, DC uh, brush servo drives. These are uh, Dugong uh, DG2S08020. Um, CNC for PC.com sells them. There's the Centroid Acorn. Uh, board control board right here is the DC power supply for the DC servos these uh, drives I forgot to mention take step and direction input so that acorn can drive them we've got some solid state relays one of them is for the vacuum uh, basically dust collection this one right here is this it has a vacuum table on it so if you ever got a vacuum pump you could use that and this kicks on and off the the Porter Cable router using the M3 and M5 commands. Um, power supply for Acorn and uh, needed a 12 volt uh, supply for the DC, DC servo drives. And then there's another 12 volt uh, power supply that he's using for, he's got LED lighting up in the, uh, on the router to light things up. So all in all, it, it's working pretty well. Unfortunately, Remy's got to go home to Canada. doesn't get to play with it much anymore. But uh, it was fun working on it and getting it together. And uh, uh, I think we both agree this is a tribute to his brother um, following through with what he wanted to do, which is basically get this thing up and running. And uh, Remy being the woodworker that he is, he'll learn something new, CNC control. And hopefully next season, we're in Arizona and he's from Canada. Unfortunately, the thermostat and the thermometer is starting to go up here in Arizona, and he's uh, allergic to that, he and his wife, so they're going back home to where the weather's nicer. And when he comes back in the fall, maybe we'll start working on creating some things on this, this machine and learning some new stuff. So uh, this is one of the things I've been working on in the last uh, month or so, a couple of months, along with another project, but uh, just wanted to provide an update. and. Uh, I made a new friend, and uh, so long for now. Did they put a piece of rubber around it, or just straight against the, the body? No, it goes right against the body. Cabinet's still a mess, we gotta clean it up, but it's working. Just finished running the flange program.
that's all right. And here's the control using the Dugong DG2S drives. My first time using them. It was a little bit of a learning curve, but it worked out well. Got some tidying up to do in the cabinet. But this uh, Phoenix 2x2 router is working. <laughs>